Good morning, everybody. We had a little trouble getting on the stand this morning. Summer wasn't sure she wanted to get up. Yeah, so yesterday, Stephanie noticed there was like a hair coming out of her udder. Um, it seemed like it may be attached, but you don't want to yank a hair out, especially on your boot. Come on. So, I'm going to milk her out and see how she's doing. Of course, something has to happen when I'm leaving. And it could just be, you know, it could be nothing. Oh, it's not hair, it's a piece of dead skin. We're good. We're good. That happens, doesn't it? Look easy, does it? Which you would know if you had breastfed. Oh, I'm just, I, let me get a little bowl, guys. As soon as I get some milk, I'll give you some. I can strip it in here. Instead of getting it on everything. why it's kind of clogged a little bit and we won't pull it here honey there's your milk <laughs> other people have barn cats I have barn chickens if you start catching mice then I'm fine with that I'd rather have barn chickens than barn cats I can eat your offspring I'm not into eating kittens. That just sounds awful. Um, what do you have for dinner? Roast kitten. For the pear glaze. Ooh, it's warm. Can't wait till when I don't have to come out here in like 400 pounds of clothing. Right, Summer? Yeah, somebody asked about your horn. Mm-hmm. We never did find out how it got ripped off. So somebody had asked in the comments about how come she has one short horn and how come she has one long horn. Yeah, are you showing them? Are you showing them my beautiful beauty queen? Hmm? Are you showing them? They're drinking your milk. She likes to drink her own milk. I, I don't know if that's common. But when I the first time I milked her out and got like... I don't know, I got this little container full, so probably at least a quart. Um, I know she wanted to smell it, so I let her smell it to see what it was. She stuck her nose in it, so now I can't drink it. And she literally drank all of it, just sucked it down. Huh. That's interesting. And I think she was bottle fed. She was a triplet. Bonnie, are you not sharing your milk? Anyway, back to the horn issue. Um, they were out in the pasture last summer, beginning of last summer, and she, um, we brought her in at night. We always bring them in at night because we're worried about, you know, bears and coyotes and stuff. And she had like this little nub where her horn had been. And it looked like you'd ripped the fingernail off. There was no blood on her face, no blood on her head, no blood on her body anywhere, not even her feet. Um, it's almost like she just tore it right off and left the like underneath your fingernail. And it looked really ouchy. Um, there's a vet, vetresin, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a like a broadband, you know, and it's Gizio. It stops the pain and helps with with uh, healing wounds. And um, we sprayed her down, sprayed it down, and left it open because it was early summer, if I recall right. Because there weren't, I wasn't worried about flies. If I've been worried about flies, I would have blue coated it. 
even though that would probably sting. And we left it open and it formed a scab and then the calcium has just started coming over it. You know, if I tell Stephanie that it's just dry. <laughs> Are you not happy with the chickens in here? <laughs> She's just staring at the milk and Bonnie. Like, um, why are you giving my milk to the chickens? Because the chickens feed us. Her, Bonnie? No, you're not getting up here. Then Bonnie likes to get on the stand and visit. What's up, Clyde? No, oh, he doesn't like the milk. Weird. Hmm, that's weird. So that's why her horn. One is shorter than the other. That's why I call her one horn billy goat. And I sing her that one eyed, one horn flying purple people eater song. That's the only part about that song I know. Ah, I gotcha. You didn't get me. I thought you were going to get me. And then another person asked me about the stripping with goats, and it's kind of hard to explain. So with cows, you kind of pull down. With goats, you don't pull down. You squeeze. So I guess the best analogy, better than toothpaste, would be if you ever decorated a cake or cupcakes where you put the frosting into the bag and then the decorated tip at the end and then you have to like squeeze out the frosting as you decorate very similar to that although yeah because it's the same kind of pressure you start at the top and you squeeze down like that so it's the same pressure um it does take getting used to and you can't really explain <coughs> what it feels like when you're when they let down their milk are you low on food? Would you like, is there something you'd like? Now, I told you we're out of goat. Oh, you don't have much corn. We're out of, uh, we're, okay. Now, don't make a big mess. Bonnie. Shh. We're out of goat treats, almost. And I leave today. I'll be back Sunday and I will bring you some goat treats, okay? I promise. I'll get a big, huge bag so we won't run out. Does that sound okay? Is that okay with you? Are you sure? Okay, that's cool. I promise I won't forget them. I'll say she'll drink the rest of this milk. Is that what you want? You want your milk? See, drinking the milk. I'm going to lick the bowl, too. Let me milk a little bit more. <laughs> that was good? Was that good? It was? Do you want more? Well, let me milk. I'll give you some more. How's that sound? Okay? I have to milk more. I have to milk you to get more. I have a feeling if she could reach, she would just drink herself dry. sister's milk. Is she only interested in her own? And see, there's my brain. I learn one thing and it's like, whoa. Well, that's why I'm a why person. Well, if it worked with that, what worked with this? What worked with that? What does that mean? Why does that work? What does that mean? What's the outcome? What does that mean if I give her milk? Will that increase her milk production if she drinks some milk? Because it's full of protein. Will it give her diarrhea? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm getting too excited in this. I just gave you corn. Ah, I promise you 
post you are giving up or not. Not giving you a lot because I don't want you to get the runs. You know, at this rate, between the chickens and the goat, I'm not going to get any milk. You are such a freak. You are such a freak. You are my weird girl. It's empty, all right? Now, that's all you get. That was just a little bit. Maybe a quarter of a cup. That's all you need. I bet if I did that for your sister, she wouldn't drink it. I'm gonna try it though. Bye. careful with because sometimes she'll peck me when I pick her up. If she doesn't want to be picked up, she'll peck me. You didn't drink the milk and now it's all gone because the goat drank it. That's just the way it goes. Okay? Now I'll Google later whether or not. I'll ask Mr. Google Pants what he thinks about letting you have milk. Hmm? Alright, let me see. I think I have a handful of goat treats left and saved just for you. You're getting so much better about, well, sometimes, about not making a mess with all of the oats and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that, you didn't want me rubbing your head. You did this morning. Yeah. You did this morning. I had to pet you before you put your head in there. You done? You say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. You ready? Let's go find your girl. Let's go find your girl. Come on. Come on, mama. Wickies, let's go. Out. Boo. Out. Mama. Out. Come on, Clyde.
just hop it on the short side but it is a short I mean maybe if it wasn't against the wall they might not be bothered so much hmm. give you some fresh drain there you go there you go I thought I heard something in here maybe when I listen to the uh Somebody's making a nest. They've been chewing up the cardboard. Hmm. Well, <laughs> oh, they chewed that all the way down the side. Ooh, I gotta get some farm cats. Problem with, I know I have a chipmunk that comes in here in the summer, but they hibernate for most of the winter. I don't know if it's building a nest. It could be a rat, it could be a mouse. Could be a chipmunk, could be one of our little squirrels. We've got little squirrels. I know, Mama, you are engorged. Especially that inside part. I'll get you taken care of. I'll get you taken care of. We're going to milk you into this and see if you want to drink your milk. I'm thinking you're not going to. I think your sister's just a freak. But we'll see what you think about it. Of course, you don't have to strip this much. So when I say stripping, it's not like ripping something off. What it is is that when they're done milking the milk duct, um, kind of gets a little plug on the end so bacteria can't go up into the body. See? She's like, no, no thank you. I don't drink my milk. I'm a big girl. I don't need milk. Your sissy would drink it. Actually, I might try and see if she'll drink your milk. No, I better wait till I come back. Because I don't want her to get the runs on and on. And Stephanie will have a cow and freak out. But, so the stripping, all you're doing is like you're milking. And you don't do it super hard, it's just consistent pressure. Because if you had something clog, I think the most natural way to say this would not be just gross and disgusting. Um, you don't want to rip anything. And you don't want to damage the teeth, so you're going to just keep <clears throat> doing the motion that I showed you like you were making, putting frosting on a cupcake <clears throat> until, until the milk starts flowing freely. And you'll get the feel for it, and when you first milk a new goat, their milk does not come down immediately. It, the body hasn't gotten used to milking. So, for example, when you're a new mom as a human and you start breastfeeding, it doesn't seem like anything's coming out, and it's work getting the baby to latch on. It's not this, you know, oh, they just grabbed a hole in my nipple and they're drinking and, you know, I'm producing quarts of milk every hour and everything's fine. It takes practice and it hurts for a bit. So, if your goats are, like, very touchy at first, well, just imagine you're taking a part of their body that you probably haven't squeezed like that. And because it takes them a while for the milk to let down... You're like rubbing on it excessively. It's not comfortable. And you got your head locked up so you can't be moving around. 
Which is why you really should really get to know your goats. I would suggest getting a stanchion and they don't take long to build. I thought it would be a horrible project. We watched YouTube, I don't remember which one it was, and it was, it took a couple hours, maybe. And we had a, a shelf on there, but I took that off and put the, um, the grain containers on because it's easier. They were just knocking the bowls off, and now they're not knocking anything off, so. It's much cleaner in here. You wouldn't know by looking at it, would you, Autumn? No. So anyway, so back to the analogy of humans. When you first start, you're not sure how well the milk is coming out. So it's the same with the goats. It takes a while for them to realize, to start really producing the milk because they first have the colostrum. Well, then I said that wrong again. Colostrum. Um... But then, if you've been breastfeeding and you're a human, your baby cries and your milk like starts coming out of your boobs because you've let down. So and so your dairy goats and everything, it's the same concept. Their milk will let down once the baby starts nursing. So when you first start milking, it's hard to get the milk out. You just have to be patient and persistent. Okay, you can't just go, I can't do this. Can you? No, you gotta keep going. You just gotta push through. Gently, nicely push through. And if you get frustrated, then you know what? Your goat's probably frustrated. You need to take a break. And if you only get a little bit of milk the first couple of times, it's okay. It's okay, right, Mama? Right, Mama? This is a sweet girl. You're such a sweet girl. Even your sissy's coming around. Yeah, even your sissy's coming around. Oh, there are times she annoys me to no end. Yes, there are days. There are days and times. Artie must be really stinky because the girls really are just running down to his end of the barn. Mm-hmm, because he smells good. He got all that pee-pee cologne all over his face and his legs. I gotta bring him in here. Maybe after I bring him in here next week, trim his hooves, he'll get that nasty smell on the stanchion, and you girls will be like, Ooh, is he in there? and run and jump up, huh? And then you won't be in heat anymore. You'll be like, I want to go next. Smell like a boy. Yeah? Is that true? Is that true? Because you made me get him. Hmm? You're gonna get me scared, my love. Yes, my sweet girl. You want some salt? I was going to put some salt into your, your pen. I am going to make salt lick things, automatic feeders for them. No? You don't want that either? Do you want a goat treat? No, no, no. Come on. Is that the goat treats? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's the, that's the deal. All right, let's go find your girls, and I will bring them the rest of the alfalfa, I think. Yeah. Is that, you want the salt now? Is that the alfalfa? All right, come on. Let's go put this in, the, in, your, in your stock. I have to take shower and I have to pack to get to leave.
right, guys. Oh, so now the chickens came in there drinking all that milk, but I knew the other girl wasn't going to eat, but that's what it is. All right, guys. Well, hey, you guys have a very good night, and I'll show you. Flip it around. There they are drinking that little bit of milk. So, not only can you feed it to your pigs, your chickens will eat it up if you have excess milk. There you go. Kind of the cool things about chickens, they'll eat just about anything. They'll eat all your kitchen scraps. They'll eat fruit that you won't eat that's going bad. Not citrus, though. Oh, my. Those four red girls are... Oh, look at the mess you made. Oh, my. That's his... The, whoop, whoop. That's his call saying that, um, hurry, hurry, there's good food. They'll do that when they find something really good. A good rooster will. A good rooster will call his hens. Um, a lot of time when I first put the food out, he'll make all that noise, and I will run over there, and he'll peck at it like a mama would to show him that that's what he wants him to eat. And I will pick him up, and his crop will be empty because he's letting all of his girls eat first. And he's very friendly. I mean, he's not mean. I have not had, knock on wood, I have not had, I have knock on wood, I have not had a mean naked neck yet. I don't know if that's common, but I haven't. All right, guys, we need to go. Let's go. Everybody out. Yep, you've almost drank all of it. Let's go. Let's go. Out you go. Out. Out. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 ladies. And no, get out. There you go. Take your ladies. There's Thomas. Thomas, stop. Stop. I have to clean my barn on my break. Go away. Go on. Don't argue with me. Like he cares. Like you care. But he doesn't. He will go after the hens sometimes. But he's pretty good about not messing with, with Clyde. I don't know where Bonnie went. Bonnie's a very independent girl. Even as a chick, she would leave her mama and just wander off on her own. Well, have a good weekend, guys. I don't know if I'll be posting from my parents. We'll see what all happens there. Um, and I will get back to you probably Monday if I don't talk to you this weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye.